Hey guys, we are back for another video. Um, we're gonna jump right into this video. Um, as I always state in my, my videos, I do read the comments and I heard y'all in those comments, honey, and I've been researching and I got the tea for your butts. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into our intro and then we're gonna come back and discuss the situation with Dr. Jackie. Apparently, one of her nurses has come out and and expose the very thing that you guys have been saying in the comments. Um, so we are uncovering who Dr. Jackie really is one video at a time. So let's go ahead and jump into our intro and then we're going to come back to discuss this story. I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. But before we get into this video, I do need to make sure you guys are liking the video, sharing the video, and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you have not. And also, if you are subscribed, make sure you enable the bell notification so you do not miss out on a video. So let's get into some background of Jack. Her name is Jacqueline Walters. We call her Jackie. Um, she is a cast member on Married to Medicine. So let's start off with a brief bio because I know everybody does not watch every video. So Dr. Jackie, um, she is one of the longest running stars in the Bravo history, who is widely known as America's most beloved OBGYN Dr. Jackie. And that's part of the reason why I'm doing this video because it is the the thing that is surrounding her that she's such a great person and we're going to denounce that by the end of this video. It says her positive and vibrant attitude toward life infused with her dedication to work and family has made her a fan favorite. This is what her Bravo um, Wikipedia is saying. As a two-time breast cancer survivor, Dr. Walters has turned her pain into a passion for nurturing the emotional and physical needs of women and men diagnosed with breast cancer through her 50 Shades of Pink Foundation, an organization established in 2013 to treat the inner and outer beauty of survivors. Now let's talk about her education, okay? After earning two Bachelor of Science degrees from the University of Mississippi and Alcorn State University and graduating from the University of Mississippi School of Medicine, Dr. Walters completed her residency um, in gynecology and obstetrics from the Medical Center of Central Georgia and Mercer University. Dr. Walters has added best-selling author to her list of accomplishments with the debut of her feminine, feminine health book, The Queen V. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a background on Dr. Jackie because everything doesn't have to be negative, but what I'm about to show you and tell you is nothing but negative. So I at least wanted to give her at least some type of accolades. Um, so the information that I'm getting ready to reveal to you guys, I listened to your comments and I did research and everything that you said was everything that I arrived at but I needed proof. And what you guys said in the comments, you guys can read the comments, go back and read them. But what people were saying, you guys said that I think she's bitter because she can't have children. And I thought about it and I said, well, that could be true, but I don't know. So I'm researching and researching and researching. And one of Dr. Jackie's employees now, this is an alleged employee. I don't know if this lady is an employee or not, but she stated that she is, in fact, a previous employee of Dr. Jackie. And everything that you guys stated about her being bitter because she is not able to have children and having it being shoved in her face daily, this is what this former 
employee is stating, she is stating that Dr. Jackie is bitter and she is jaded and she does not care about her patients. Now, this isn't me talking. This is what this former alleged employee had to say. So let's get into that. Okay, guys, so this is what her former employee had to say. I actually covered up her name because I know sometimes people comment in sections and don't know that people can capture that. And I don't want people to be harassing this girl. And furthermore, um, I don't want content creators to be stealing my stuff. I mean, I don't understand, you know, why as a content creator, you find this information and people come right to your page, take it and then go to their page and then just change it a little. So that's a little bit irritating. They should at least give you a shout out. Right. But they don't. But anyways, let's get into what she had to say. Again, I blotted out her name and I put my logo over the message. So I'm going to read it and hopefully you guys can see it because this is extremely serious. She states, again, I'm not going to say her name, as her former nurse who worked side by side to her and former patient. So she said not only did she work for her as her former nurse, she was also a patient. She said, everything y'all finally seen about your favorite doctor is who she really is. Again, about your favorite doctor. As I stated yesterday, the persona that she's given us, that is not who she is. This lady is evil as hell. Let me just tell you, if I were to say I had a gift, that would be it to know exactly who people is, despite who they try to say they are. Okay. Now she says, um, she did, she says that um, she does accept Medicaid. Now, that was not my experience, so I'm not sure when she accepts Medicaid, but I don't believe she accepts it anymore. Um, and, and she says, and she sees patients from all walks of life in her practice, but she is a person that throws rocks and hides her hands. This is exactly what you guys have been saying in the comments. This is exactly what I said. But again, I didn't want to go too much in debt to what, you know, her, you know, inability to have children was. So let's get into what her former employee had to say. The moment I got pregnant with my now two-year-old in a high-risk pregnancy, she made my life hell. Y'all heard that? She said she was in a high-risk pregnancy, and not only was Dr. Jackie her employer, she was also a patient to Dr. Jackie. She said Dr. Jackie made her life hell. She does not care about pregnancy, nor does she care about the Black woman she claimed to advocate for. Bingo is not this. This is what I stated. I said this lady is not who she says that she is. I can just feel her energy. I can tell. This is what she's saying. She says, um, no one is off limits, not even her celeb friends or patients. She's a nasty person who is jaded about her not being able to have children and is reminded about it every single day. Mic drop. Again, this is what you guys said in the comments. Now, I knew that she was bitter, but I didn't think it had anything to do with that. Of course, I wanted to do research and actually be able to find information that supported whatever claims that I had. But now that I'm seeing this former nurse basically coming out to say exactly what you guys stated. So what her former nurse is saying that she's bitter and she's a very nasty person. Um, this nurse is stating that she is just nasty period across the board. Now with that, I have to disagree because I feel like if she's that nasty to her celebrity clients, I don't believe that they will come to her. So there you have it. Um, it's very important that you 
always listen to your discern the your discernment in your heart because again i watched mary to medicine for what 10 years a little bit over 10 years and it was always something about her she always appeared to be nice to the point that i just wanted to meet her again when i met her i got evil vibes that's just what i got now the fact that her and her own employee is coming out saying exactly what everybody has already stated about this lady um, is a problem it's a problem because she wants to be an advocate for infant mortality and i really believe that she has some kind of built up anger and frustration in her that she's 65 years old and she's been with her husband for 20 years and he does not want to have a child by her but is I now I was doing research. Now I'm going to have to say alleged because I have to look again. Um, I thought that he already had a child um, by his other wife. So um, she is very bitter inside, and the anger and the evilness comes out because she sees women every day being able to have what she has not been able to have. Um, I understand she's not able to have children, but I feel like, you know, being in her marriage, they could have used surrogate and all sorts of ways to actually, um, you know, for her to be able to have a child. But the issue here is her husband did not want to have a child. And if you guys recall back I don't know, it was a few seasons ago, she wanted to have um, a baby. And I believe at that time, she still had to be in her 60s. So I could understand why, you know, he would have said no to that. Um, but just think about her wanting to have a child and holding this inside for all of this time and not being able to do it. Um, something needs to be done about this, though. I don't think she needs to be working with um, Vice President Kamala on anything related to infant mortality, because as we saw in my video yesterday, she does not seem to be the correct person to be an advocate for black women and in infant mortality, um, considering that she has some mental health issues that she needs to have resolved. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And let me know again what you guys think in the comments.